Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. Today I'll show you step by step how you can do interior parallax in Lumion. This interior will give you the illusion that the room is fully modeled, when in reality it's just a simple plane with the texture applied to it, and saving you a lot of time. So let me first show you here inside Lumion how these interiors look. I set up this very simple scene here just to show you how this works. And you can see that we have different depths here, so these chairs in a different uh, depth than this uh, curtain here. And this one is turned off. Then we have here some cafe and you can see the different levels of uh, elements, right? And this room is a little bit uh, bigger as well in, in, um, in depth. And we have here another one like a storefront and another one here. And on the top we have some uh, interiors like this living room. This one here, it's turned off. So we don't see much and then another one and another one here and so how can we make this work in Lumion? We're going to go to this website called Shaders Box and we are going to use their interior shaders. So as you can see here they have several different textures for rooms, for offices and for commerce and also it comes with the night time and daytime so you can select according to which project we are working on. Also different sizes depending on the size of your room and, and they have a high resolution and low resolution and if you go here to the shop you'll see that uh, they have different packs they have the offices the commerce and the rooms pack or also all of it together but if you go to the top you'll see here grab the starter kit and so if we click here you will see that they offer 12 uh, textures the four rooms for office and four interior commerce interiors just for five dollars so it's quite cheap and you can test this and uh, it includes the day, night, day and night versions and high resolution as well and so now let me show you step by step how you can integrate this in Lumion so let me first show you that when you download any pack it comes usually with uh, some models and textures as well and also the catalog so this catalog is quite useful because let's say that I want this uh, commerce I can open the PDF and now here I can simply scroll through the file and see which one I want. So I can see here the, the night version and the day version and I can see the height, the width and the depth of this room. Usually it's best to keep it under these measurements but again if you increase like 10 or 15 percent usually it's not so noticeable so you have some flexibility and so you can scroll through these interiors right and then you go here let's say commerce and I have your textures and now you see here all of these commerce name, names, so V9. So if I go here to V9, let's see which one is the V9. So it's this one, okay. And they all come with this extension EXR. This, this doesn't work directly in Lumion. We need to convert it to PNG first. So we need to open Photoshop. And so here I have this scene opened in Photoshop. And the first thing we need to do is go to image, then mode. Then we'll find that this is in 30 bit and we need to convert this to 16 bit. So we click here and now we get these weird colors. So we need to go here to method and select exposure and gamma. Press OK. And now we can simply save this scene by pressing Ctrl S. And now I already set here a new folder called PNGs and I select here PNG. And so I'm going to save this one as PNG but it's not only that we also need to save go here to the channels and we'll find the alpha click it press ctrl a to select everything you see by this marching ends here and now press ctrl c and now click again RGB go to layers back and press ctrl V to paste okay now we need to save this version so we press again ctrl alt s to save Go to PNG folder, select PNG, and what we're going to do is we will delete this part and underscore A, which means alpha, and save it. Okay, so this is how we convert the textures to PNG because we cannot use the AXR in Lumion. 
So now let me show you how the models work. So here I have my, my scene that you saw in the beginning in Lumion. And I have here this uh, shaders box. So basically, let me just isolate just one of these elements so you can have a better look. So each element, it's like this. Inside is basically a box, but inside it has this plane that will work to create some depth. If I go here and activate the dimensions tool, uh, by the way, this file comes in FBX, so you can open pretty much in any 3D modeling software. Right now I'm using here uh, Modo, but you can use in 3ds Max, you can use in, a, you can open probably in SketchUp, so anything will do. And then you see the measurements, right? So I have here three meters and I have width 6.2. As I said, uh, this one was probably six meters, the texture that I'm going to use, but you can use between uh, 15 to 20% of margin, so it will fit the, the room that you want. And then I have 4.6 meters of height. And another thing that you need to do is, let me just move this up. So you see that I have several elements here, right? So if I want to have variation, I need to set a different material ID for each one of them. And also, you see that these rooms, if you scroll here, I have some with a width of nine, a depth of nine, some depth of seven, you know, this one has a depth of six, some of four meters. So you need to create this variation as well in these boxes. So here I have some with nine, others with, um, with six, others with four. So it really depends, but you can then after doing this, creating this variation, you can select each element like this. So if I select this one, I need to create a separate material for each one of them. So this one can be uh, material one, material ID two, material ID three, material ID four. And here on the top, you can start creating five, but for example, this one could be five as well because it will be quite far away. And then if you add and mix some curtains and stuff like that, it will not be so noticeable that it's a repetition. So you can also work with that. And when you do that, you have your building and you have your uh, boxes that will work as their interior parallax. And you can import all of this into Lumion, right? And then when you do, so I'm going to select here, let's say, can be this one. You need to assign a material to it. So by default, I'm just going to show you how it looks by default. I'm going to make imported material. So this is by default. So you can see there's nothing. So I'm going to select standard. And then we need to remove the colorization all the way to zero, the relief, reflectivity, and the gloss. All of them set it to zero. Then we go to colorization here and we select a color map. So I'm going to select the one we just created, which is this one, Commerce V9, and I'm gonna click open. But still, we have everything pretty much dark. So this is not what we want, right? Why? Because we need to add the alpha. So here we have this texture here, the, the, the scissors icon selected, and uh, we're going to choose the alpha clip map. So I'm going to select the one we saved with A, right? And click open. And so now, much better, we can see the interior, but it's too dark, right? So what we need to do is go here to the settings and we have this emissive. I usually just set it a little bit like until the M more or less here and there you go we have our interior parallax working so you can see the different depths of the elements you see that these uh, benches here are in different uh, depth than the wall here and another thing that I, I had it here to have more realism it's the spotlight so I'm going to just unhide this layer so you can see this light here I just added here on the interior until we have these chairs, because if you move it there, then it will be blocked by the plane. There's still a plane here. And uh, what this does is if I press F8 to see the shadows, so you can see that all of these shadows, all of these uh, areas are being lit now, which helps to sell the, the, the idea that this area is lit, right? So if I now hide it, let's see the difference. 
so you can see that uh, it adds to the to the realism so i i, I suggest you to do that and this light it's um this one that i'm using it's the lamp 23 and i'm just selecting here a color temperature that matches more or less the same as this environment here and so just set it more or less uh, on top of, of the of the interior and that's it you'll see that it looks quite nice and again since i set up this to be for example you see this is number three here on the material it's material number three if i go to this one it's the material number one so i can set different textures according to to the rooms and by the way if you are using an older version of lumion like for example lumion 11 10 and so on uh, you have to do this uh, in going image and then change to 8 bit instead of 16 and now you need to save this as target so you be sure that on the channels you still have the alpha right and then when you save okay, i'm gonna save here on the same folder you select target And now you select 32 bit, okay, and press OK. Now here in Lumin 11, since the material editor is a little bit different, we click Standard and we reduce everything here to zero. And now I'm going to select here the target map file, and that's it. So you don't need to load the alpha channel separately. You just need to be sure that here on the settings you have color alpha clips object. If you have other than this, you see it doesn't work, so you need to select this scissors icon. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And of course you have to create a little bit of emissive as well. But this is how it works on other versions than Lumion 12. But what if you don't want to add all of these elements in your project and you prefer to have them in, a, in Lumion to use them whenever you need? Inside this uh, shaders box folder, for each category you'll see that it has scene files, right? And you have this box wrapping. So let's open this in uh, my 3D software here. And so this box wrapping, it's basically a box with the, the dimensions. It's three by three by three. So you can save different sizes of this box. So let's say you save one with three by three by three, another one with, let's say, uh, actually, let me do it right now here. So another one that I can make this double. So it will be six meters to the width and uh, maybe as well we can make it uh, about here and this one can be more or less in the middle so you can do different boxes like this and save with different names and then just apply inside lumion so let's do this with this simple one so i have here the box wrapping right so i'm going to import it into lumion so i already have here mine just going to do a different name press OK and here I have my box so let's find here a place for our box we can put it here on this one probably so I already have here one but what I'm going to do is select this material this is a nice thing from uh, Lumion actually that you can make things invisible like this Select the material, now it's invisible, it's gone, we don't need to worry about it. You'll see it in a second. Okay, so now we have this free space for our new box. And we can place it uh, like this, more or less here. Okay, so this one is empty. What, what we could do is this one will be nice if we have the six meters in width not the three meters because if you increase to double the size it will be unrealistic so we can add this one and actually make it a little bit like so yeah so something like this it's fine now we'll go inside this room and we just select this uh, box and again we do the same procedure select standard remove everything go color color map so let me see if i have here one maybe in rooms i can show you the rooms yeah so i have here one living room so let me select this one 
And again, I need to select the alpha and increase the emissive. So this room, it's uh, double. So you can see it's a little bit squeezed now because it should be double of the width. So let's find one. We can go to rooms here, the rooms catalog. And let's see one that we could use. For example, this one has four meters in width. It will work better. Yeah, so let's use one with four meters. Let's use this bedroom. We have this rooms bedroom version two. So you can go here and find the rooms bedroom version two. It's not the day, it's the single. So let's make it here. Again, do the same thing. So you need to do this uh, procedure for every text new texture you want to use, but it's much faster than modeling all of these elements and creating your room specifically for, uh, for, for an interior like this. Okay, and now I'm going here to the texture, I'm going to select the one, so it's this uh, bedroom version 2, and we need to select the alpha. Okay, so this one, yeah, is much better, and so we can see <laughs> it's quite nice. We can see like these elements. And I was saying that you can even use a curtain like this, for example, and make it uh, about here, a curtain. If you want to have some variation, for example, you could try to use the same bedroom in another place, but uh, if you add like a curtain like this, it will create this variation. And to make it uh, seem like it's lit, one simple trick you can do it's go to lights and then area light and just place an area light like this facing the wall so i mean facing the curtain not the wall and then move it to like this inside until you see more or less this curtain we can add a color maybe a little bit maybe 3600 all right now we make it in length bigger and width smaller. And now we just increase the fall off all the way and reduce the brightness. So we fine tune the position. Okay. And so you see that now it looks like this room is being lit with just that light pointing at the curtain. Of course, you probably need to make it uh, just a little bit bigger, something like this. Yeah. And if you want to use this, you can use my link that will get you 15% off on your purchase. So just use my link and then use the coupon NUNUSILVA15 to get this 15% discount. And I invite you to join my free training, my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. I recommend you watching this video, which will help you to get the best PBI materials for your projects. And don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.